Hey everyone, in this tutorial we'll walk you through the AudioWow app main interface. So let's go! When opening the AudioWow app, the default screen is the voice recording interface. Click the button in the lower part of the screen to switch to the video recording interface. The upper left corner is the list of recordings, where you can watch the playback. Audio, video, and phone recordings are stored here. Android systems will automatically save files to the system album, while iOS systems need to be saved manually. The upper right corner is the overall system settings, which display important information such as serial number, the firmware, or the current app version. Any available firmware upgrade will also be shown here. The small gear icon on the lower left is the audio setting, where you can set the recording format, define the double-click function, set automatic recording for phone calls, and other functions. The fader icon on the lower right is the tuning interface. We will go in detail for this part later. The camera icon on the lower left is the video settings. You can adjust the resolution, bit rate, frame rate, and aspect ratio. Clicking the video button at the bottom to enter the video recording interface will include additional functions. The upper window area is the audio channel and timer, which displays the sound waveform when recording. The resolution and frame rate are related to the performance of the mobile phone, and there will be different display results according to different mobile phone models. The bitrate determines the size of the video file, which is recommended to set to medium. The icon on the lower right is the front and rear camera switch. Due to different performance of the front and rear cameras, video parameters may change when the cameras are switched. The middle of the interface is the video screen. Manually click to focus and adjust exposure. The lower center of the audio and video interface are the start and stop buttons for recording. For remote control, click the power key of AudioWow to start and stop the recording. Now you know how to use the AudioWow main interface. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact support at sabinetech.com. Thanks for watching.